Wow, why do I feel like I've suddenly forgotten how to start these things off? Like, technically I'm doing all the right things, but I just... The words completely vanished from my mouth. That's because I feel like I got so much to do. Um, let's see. Basic outline, I suppose. Uh, there's a few things I want to do in the snowy area before actually moving on to the Halig tree. And that's just about it. I just want to do a thing or two in still in the snow and get a foothold to that missing area of the map. Also kind of hungry. Oh. Mm. Ah, no, Elden Ring's being difficult. <clears throat> Happens every now and again. I just turn it on, it's on a white screen, and then it just doesn't go any further and just crashes immediately. And I think it's doing it again. Come on, this worked earlier in the week when I was when I did a, a small thing or two. Yeah, yeah, it's decided to come down with the case of not responding itis. Right, we're gonna, not going to do the shortcut anymore, then we're going to go directly to Steam. Start it from there, see if that does a change. Play Elden Ring, yes, play. Oh, for the love of... Really? Three times and you're still saying no? What the hell is going on? There's been no update that should be ruining you. It's no reason I can think of. Unless it decided, hey, I just really don't want to be streamed at all today. Why? I've got no clue. Shouldn't be happening, not in the slightest. Come on, really? You can't be serious. You're serious. Mm, uh, 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 uh. Come the hell on. Jeebus cripes, what the hell are you doing, Elden Ring? Come on, you know better than this. I know you know better than this, because guess what? You ran yesterday, you stupid, stupid, stupid thing. How about you put your brain back where it's supposed to be and stop acting stupid? Right, okay, let's see, what is it, properties... Updates, local files, let's do, go, let's do that validate thing. Mm. 
Oh boy, this is going to take forever, apparently. Oh, what a great start to a stream. What a great, wonderful freaking start. <sighs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Don't tell me Monday the 23rd is somehow turned into Garfield's Monday the 13th. Because my goodness, why? Uh, what other reason could there possibly be for you just deciding to not work for no reason when you worked yesterday? There's been literally no change in anything at all. <sighs> Over a fourth of the way there. How about the anti-cheat just decided to uh, uh, stick its nose where it isn't uh, wanted it, and it just decided to f screw everything up hor horribly? Only explanation I can come up with. When it comes to my family and technology, logic almost never applies to any of it when it decides to break down. Halfway, officially halfway, and then nine minutes in, wonderful. Let's see here. Yeah, I've still got a lot of free memory space, so if that's the problem, it shouldn't be. Three-fourths done.
Okay, file integrity finished. Now, that should mean you work correctly now. Isn't that right, Elden Ring? Come on! What are you doing? What is the problem? How have you broken yourself when nothing has happened since yesterday? What the flying fuck? What the hell? This shouldn't be happening! You were fine yesterday! You were perfectly fine! 100% A-OK, -okay, no problems, Houston! What the fuck has changed? Nothing should have changed! Nothing! Not at all! Do you not like that Firefox is open? I'll turn it off. There. Firefox is closed. Does that make you happy? No? Alright, fine. I'll turn the Steam you, uh, client off and I'll turn it. Uh, close the Discord window. Is that what you want? Will that make you happy? Will that make you function correctly? Despite the fact that I shouldn't be having to bribe you in order to work correctly? Finally, my god, why was that like pulling teeth? What was wrong with you? This shouldn't have happened at all. It's 15 minutes in and only now do you decide to work? What the fuck? Jeebus cripes. I'm going to bet that nobody has ever, if the code was actually looked at, nobody has ever experienced this glitch before. Like, this has never been happen never happened to anybody else in any sort of testing at any stage of development. I'll bet it's an entirely new glitch made up solely because it's me that's trying to play it. Jeebus cripes. Oh, finally. I've rendered Elden Ring a toothless gumming granny now, but it's finally working. So yeah, I've collected a few things, I've upgraded a few things, trying to get some new stuff to work with instead of just the moon veil, so I'm gonna give the marriage sword a try. Right. Now to get to actually trying these things. Um, let's see, White Ridge Road, that would be that leads me there. I know how to do the Heretic's Rise now. And I think I get some magic for doing so.
I'll be honest, I'm kind of nervous about using the uh, Moonlight Sword. I really haven't been using big weapons ever since, like, a little failed PvP in Dark Souls 2, I'd say. And uh, the best I used it was Dark Soul my first run through Dark Souls 1 as a pure turtle strategy. Okay, so what was it said that like... I believe I was told I had to go directly across in order to find an invisible bridge that goes up. Well, because a little bastard down there won't stop throwing things at me. I can't check the map exactly to find where exactly that's straight across. Yeah, it wasn't from that bridge. That's... I know that. You know what? Fine. If it's not going to let me quick travel because the guy just won't let go of a grudge, then fine. I'll just run back. Okay, so let's see. I want to... S if it's not the uh, the one with the bridge, the broken end of the bridge, then it's probably by the Erd tree. And that's still a really long walk. Yeah, that's in the valley. That's down below. That's not up top. I think I'll have to start from here. bunch of skeletons. I also did some looking into the death roots that I still need to feed Garonk, and as far as I can tell, I've killed all the tibia mariners. I just need... Let's see. Nope, not here. I've killed all the tibia mariners in the game. I just need, like, some death roots that are found in catacombs that don't have them. Are you kidding me? Seriously? That was more than enough room for me and the horse. Oh, I missed some grace. Well, that's handy to know. Me alone, snails. I mean, snakes. Did I turn this on? Wait, did I never fight the guardian here? The avatar? Pretty sure I did. It was the one that split in half, wasn't it? Well, not exactly in half, but into two.
It's either a rat or a dog or a skeleton? I don't know. Either way, Earth Tree Avatar's dead. I think I got, and I got its stuff. Okay, so. I think it's over here. What, bravery to get that? Or was it talking about trying to go over... I've got no idea what they're doing. I may have the wrong side. Because I'm supposed to walk over an invisible bridge that will lead to... What are these? You know what, now I'm just still curious. I've got no clue if I have done it or not yet. Don't bleed, but uh, the uh, sheer damage output is supposed to be better. I got some good poise to go through a lot of minor attacks. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I did kill this one. No, this is way too far. Okay, so I was horribly wrong. And I'm just gonna have to take care of these dicks real quick. And grab that. Here we go. No, not fat not not fast run, Gallagher. Slow walk.
Okay. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that Fromm would never do something like this ever again. Uh, ever since Dark Souls 3. I mean, it was super nerve-wracking the first time in the first game, but... And then the, the sec... Well, oh, careful. And then the uh, in 3, it was just... A little, uh... What is that glow down there? Probably a tree with a seed that I'll need. He turned too soon. And then it was mostly just to reach Yorshka in the third game. Why are people seriously uh, insisting on uh, on uh, riding their horses here? Whoa! Aha! There we go. Now it's much more clear. Ah, made it. Ooh, nice smash. Apparently he just starts off broken. I know the reward is in the upper level, but... Must have been outside. I'm just curious to see what's... Jesus Christ, it's dark. I smash when I should be slicing. Oh, here I thought that was be a painting. Oh, that's right. I got another painting I need to use up. Uh, we'll investigate sometime. Yeah, that's definitely one outside. Anyway, time to go get the reward. I'd say the I think the Moonlight Greatsword's doing all right. I'd have to actually do like a side by side comparison with the Moon Veil, but I think it's doing okay in pure damage output. I may have lost bleed, but again, that's I think the damage is good enough. Founding Reign of Stars. The eldest primeval sorcery said to have been discovered by an ancient astrologer, a sorcery of legendary status, summons a dark cloud of stars overhead. Shortly after, the cloud will release a violent deluge of star rain. This sorcery can be cast while in motion. Charging increases potency. Thought to be the founding glintstone sorcery, the glimpse of the primeval current that the, that the astro astrologer saw became real, and the star's amber rained down on this land. Ooh. 52, that's pretty expensive. That's pretty hard to use. Less so than the common Azure, at least. So I was like walking over here. So Well, anyway. Uh, next is the this missing piece of map I want to at least get a foothold in. Oops. Before moving on. And it's not exactly clear how to get there, but I think I have an idea. First, I want to investigate that glowing spot, though. Because I'm willing to bet I have not gone that way. And if it's a seed, a golden seed, I will take it gladly. Keep walking, giant man. I've got no problem with you right now. Oh, wait, no, they're golem. Golem man. 
Golem man, golem man. Very good, very good. Aha! It was another golden seed. That guy is surely going to wake up. Let's see. And this just leads right back out to the frozen lake. Looks like there's a small smithing stone in there, and it, I'm sure it's not going to be worth it. So, back to where I plan to go. Back to where my previous target uh, for the uh, little, little Volcano Manor was. Test the riding attacks. Pretty slow. That's supposed to be a continuous attack, though. Let the bats fight the beast, then. No, that's the that's the wall I took to uh, to get to get here. Got to be some way down to the consecrated snowfields. Ugh, seriously? Come on. Right, fine then. It's already running, so it can't be mad at me opening up uh, Firefox again. Consecrated snowfields. Ugh. I know our internet is new and faster than it was uh, when the uh, when it was aging, uh, than the last old aging router, but Jeebus Cripe, sometimes it just seems like no improvement has been made. Having trouble finding Google. No, now you're not even trying. Come on. Is this really a case? You... This is supposed to be better. This is supposed to be what I had before. Why is it still can't walk and chew gum at the same time? Okay, fine. You know what? You know what? Firefox doesn't want to do it. Firefox doesn't want to do it, then fine. I'll use my pad. Because that doesn't have to obey the laws of this computer doing whatever the, whatever the frick it's not supposed to be doing. Consecrated snowfields.
Oh no, how has it affected my pad? There you go, okay, now we're finally getting somewhere. Loaded in, but took longer than it really should have. Like, this really, 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 really shouldn't be happening. Our router is new, it's up to date, it's super fast. So why are things still crawling like molasses? Oh my god, I can't even load that. Okay. Okay, there we go, there it is. It's a secret area on the lower plane that can only be accessed by those who collect both parts of the Hydre... Secret medallion. Okay, so I take the... Let me guess. I take the elevator. Yep, Grand Lifter rolled and select Hoist Secret Medallion. Okay, finally. I have to pull more teeth out of more things, but I finally have my answer. Why I have to pull teeth in the first place, I don't know. I really shouldn't have to. But apparently I do. Shouldn't, but I do. So last time I was here, it didn't exactly give me a choice. So will it give me an option now? There it is. Hoist secret medallion. I kind of do love it when... Uh, when uh, metal finger uh, finger armor actually goes over the entire length of the finger, makes it look a bit like claws. Going up? Huh. I was expecting to go down. This is certainly new, though. <laughs> Going higher. Oh, no, that just brings me back to Dark Souls 2. Ooh, it's dark. Much better. Why does this sound like Hero's Grave music? Oh. Hidden path to the Halig tree. I mean, Halig. So there's something beyond this door that they've lured out and apparently have a hard time killing. Ah, oh, great. I see some vulgar militiamen are here. I hate those things. Oh. Well, well, well. What do you know? I'm going to find a death route here. Oh, he's going to notice. What is that quivering mass I see up in the ceiling? <laughs> oh man, and here I thought just inserting it into his spine, it just like between his spine before, was uh, like overkill. That was basically destroying a few vertebrae. Hmm. Baby land octopi. 
<laughs> oh, that's what it was. Land Octopi. Well, I need something that thrusts, so... What is it doing? Huh? Oh! Get off! Yeah, you eat your arm. And you buy the... Okay, what's this? Well, that wasn't worth it at all. So that up there is a land octopus. Yikes. Oh, there's some vulgar militiamen. I need to get it alone. Little bastards don't like magic all that much. <laughs> Comedy burp noise. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh crap, there's another. And it just ate a tentacle. How did that still hurt with this stump? The really hard part about fighting these dang things is that they've got no tells, no wind-ups, really. It's just wiggly. And then, hey, look at that, you're hurt. Like that. In you go. Not the nastiest calamari you'll ever see. Nah, no other ledges or things to jump on. Now, how did someone leave a message there? <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, check the ceiling. All clear. Ah, finally, Grace. Am I able to warp again, or do I need to go outside and find another? Nope, can't. Oh, God. What a blur. Oh, hey, it's a guy. Been a while since I saw one of you. Show me the path, O oh gentle lights. The promised path to the Halig tree. Hmm. Follow the lights?
Oh, hey, Grace. So hold on, does going through the El to the Elden Throne, the branches, not lead me to the Halig Tree? I don't know. I'll just keep following the the lights. Because if that guy says it's the path to the Halig Tree, I suppose I'd better take him at his word. I'll probably encounter the map somewhere along the way. No. Nasty snails. Gimme. Not what I was hoping for. Anyway, here's a light. There's a light. There's a light. Hello there. Oh, great. You want to fight. You really shouldn't have. Certainly wasn't dressed for the weather. Oh, that's right. I heard about these convoys. Okay, I didn't expect that Boltzmann to be well, one of the guys from the, the capital. Stop the convoy! I want to rob you! Thank you. St. Trina's torch. Whoops. Not on here. Here. Move it! It was hasty, but I managed to find some more lights. Whoops, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, wait, right. That beast eye of death quivered, but I never found a boss there. Damn it. Oh, well. Only a little further now. Show me the path, O oh gentle lights. The path to Elphael. Hey, you got a fake light! Now you mark the way. Oh, I see. Well, that was harsh of me to kill. Hmm. Ah. Sorry about that. Huh. It's actually pretty decent range on that last hit. I'm pretty sure I've seen the con like other players' foot the people's footage where the consecrated snowfield looks better than this. Aw, oh, look at that. Poor guy's stuck in the snow. I'll leave them to it. Hey!
This is nuts. Where am I going? Oh, hey, it's much clearer now. Ah, yes, this is the place I'm familiar with the most. What the? Oh, not more of those spark balls. Well, at least I'm not in water this time. Well, time to be Rob. Flowing curved sword. Back up. Oh, it's nice to see actual animals again. Look at them. They're not just ghosts. They're real. Now then, where's that map? Oh, to the right. Okay. Got some wild wolves running around. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, they're chasing a glowing guy. Uh-oh. This is what, the third time, Anastasia? Come on. You should know better by now. I don't remember if that's new or not. Whoa! Oh boy, I'm not... I'm not succeeding with that vigor check. My technique trumps yours. I'm sorry, I can't use that word anymore. Ooh! That's a good item. There we go. Consecrated no little snowfield map. Now then, I want to I want to get what those uh, what these dog guys are these uh, wolves are chasing. Whoops! Sorry about that. All right, you want to be bad dogs? Come here. I'll punish you. Whoa, what was with that body? It's like the body w still wanted to go out for a walk. Alright, now then. Time to wait. Whoop! There he goes. Should be coming back around the same direction. Nope, not exactly. Okay. Oh! He went circles around me. Well, you know what? Now I know I'm standing exactly in his path. Gotcha. White Shadow's Lure. Curious.
Well, I feel like I need to explore this place more if I want to actually reach the Halig tree. So what pathway did I miss somehow? Ah, that's right, this says frost. There's definitely something around here I need to kill. Some sort of boss. Whoops. Ah, missed the little man. Hmm. Right, got to deal with him first. Yeah. Get chilled. I think I actually inflicted frostbite on this thing the first uh, with the first hit. Would you stop? Very bad habit. So many things in this game have. Oh, not again. Well, that's death, I think. Nope, still alive. I feel like that should have been death. Okay, you know what? I think it's time to invoke the power. Oh, 9,000 damage! Woohoo! That's powerful. Alright, now, where did I miss? Wait a minute. More messages and more bloodstains? Is that actually not a death fall? That's all right, Greg. The life do be very important. Holy crap, that guy just fell down and lived. Well, that settles that then. I got my proof positive. All right. Thank you. First off, ahead. Nice. What could be in here? Oh, the silver scarab. Yep, item discovery. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go, so I guess I just go straight across. <laughs> Stab you down into the nothing. I don't think I can get his attention, so I'll just go in. Wait a minute. Ooh, there's many more. You know, as far as I can tell, the swing times are still alright. Oh, hey, there's more down there. Oh. Oh, wow. Entire secret pathway. Okay.
Way to keep things fresh, From. Uh-oh. Whoa. Careful. Just follow the signs, the messages, and the wreckage. Huh? I thought I heard giggling. Liar head? Hmm, I think I can guess what that's talking about. Okay, so. Yep, I'm over it, so. Woo! Oh, hey, another one. Not sure if that's like some sort of tar or water. Hmm. Nah, I don't want to spam. I don't want to waste all my magic on it. So I'm going to use something else. See if I can get some poison going on it. Oh, got it! You got anything more lethal, though? Inflict damage. Ah, the Kukri. Right. That's percentage. So that'll work. Yep. That's a bleed. Oh, whoa. Scared me for a moment. Yeah, the poison's gonna take a while and I'll probably have to try to reapply it. Well, something just died. Must have been some friendly fi- oh wait, nope. It just healed itself. Oh hell, I knew- should have known. Protection and drink. All right, take the knives off. Okay, old fang, the ovary, pull lever, and a heavy door is opened. And there are the spawn. Boy, the blast sure is short range and doesn't really penetrate. That's disappointing. Thought my future wife's sword would be better than that. What you got to say? Nice and cheesy. Uh-oh. Use a drink. 
That seems to be all of them. Root resin. Keep on going on. Ah, here's the boss. I don't exactly have a lot of flasks for it, though, so I'm worried. Ah, shortcut. Oh, there was a thing down there. Ooh, spell Drake plus two. Awesome. Okay, so there's no point to this. All right, then. Okay, this may be a shortcut too, but it's not exactly a shortcut back. I might as well just go face the boss now. Oh yeah, that's right. The Stray Mimic tier. I should not have used this powerful of a sword. In you go! Boy, if I was actually using the other the Mimic tier I already have, <laughs> this would be a trio. Whoops. Back up. Oh, I should not have done that. Nope. There we go. Black Flame Monk Amon. Amon swore fealty to the god-slaying Black Flame and so became the first fire monk to turn traitor. Or perhaps it is better said that he fled from the giant's flame out of cowardice. There's a death root. Just what I need from a hungry beast clergyman. Oh, wait, right, I still haven't even finished Far Missoula. Yo, I got number eight for you. Sorry to tell you this, bud, but there's just only one more left. Garank's Beast Claw. Well, shoot, now I'm curious.
Did not mean to do that. I think we're doing good, uh, pretty good damage. Whoa! Right, the greater stamina cost. Whoop. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Buzz eye! I missed. Well, that's one of them down. Ooh, yes! Ho oh ho! Can't see, can't see! Phew! I don't think I'm gonna charge it up again. I think he's stuck. Never mind. Oh. Didn't have to worry about that. Thank you, shield. Come on. Something tells me rocks like him don't suffer from frost. Oh, crap. Magic. Magic bat hit. And magic. Did you stop? Magic. Why over his head? Got him! Ooh, 88,000. I got the Black Blade and the Black Halberd. Um, let's see, there's the Consecrated... There's the Consecrated Snowfield and the Halig Tree. And then there's a little bit further down below Lanedell where the Three Fingers are, which would unlock the Chaos Ending, but I'm not looking for the Chaos Ending. I'm looking just to kill the Dung Eater. Oh, I can boost this. And then there's a bunch of other side things around. Like some nighttime bosses that I, that I could kill. I'll use one of these. Should be enough. Oh yeah, 6,000. Alright, that's 40 Vigor. That's supposed to be really good. At least for a late game. Or good enough. And even then, I've still got some Vigor boost. I've got this for uh, more HP boosting. Here we go. All right, let's see if I can start banging my head against one boss in Faramazula. Yeah, that's the Halig tree there. Now I know from ex uh, from a little spoiling that the boss here is actually kind of bouncy in this at the, uh, in it. So let's see, Black Knife Tish ought to do better. He's got better range. He moves around faster, and yet has a trick or two to keep himself out of danger. Unless anybody else was here to help me? Any NPCs? Nope, alright then.
Beast clergyman. Teach, where are you? Where? What the hell happened to Titch? Oh. Oh, this, ar this arena has edges? Come on! And Titch got knocked off of it? That's nonsense. What is this, old Iron King? Come on. Whoa. Maybe, because the old Iron King wasn't exactly one of the better bosses of Dark Souls 2. I mean, thematically and narratively uh, important, but... Not exactly one of the more fun ones to uh, play against. Yikes, that shotgun really did a number on me. I just don't feel comfortable attacking when their bosses are like this aggressive and give me so few openings. And now I'm about to get less openings. I mean, if I was and if I was still using the great uh, the moonlight great sword, I would have next to no opportunities to get good oh, hits in. Death. Become my blade once more. He broke it. And now he burns and reverts. Or maybe that was there all the time and he just hit it very well. He stabbed a medallion on the back of his hand and pulled a sword out of it. That's what he did. Malaketh, the Black Blade. The wielder of true death. And the reducer of my maximum HP. Uh-oh. Take this! Wow, that's a good. Tell me, do you bleed? If I still had Titch, I'd probably be better prepared for this, but I'm not. Oh, God, I fell for that again. Ah!
He's a leaper, all right. All right. I suppose I'll summon Titch again and hope this time he doesn't fall get knocked off the edge. Because my god, that was a pathetic way for him to die. Need a little space. Here we go. Oh, Titch. Titch, I thought you were supposed to be faster than this. There you go. Now you're doing something. Whoa! It actually reduced the boss's max HP as well. That is cool. Not like it matters because uh, the clergyman can't heal. Uh-oh. But still, that's cool. It also gives a nice burning effect. Those are solid rocks. Why exactly do they deal chip damage when my shield is up? It's not like they got some magic or holiness into the, in them. Whoop. Careful there, Titch. Ah, smart dog. Whoop. Oh my god. What is with Titch's, uh, like, aggression being so low? I hope that heal counted. No, it didn't. Nope. Uh-oh. Back away. You burn with tr the true death that you now wield. Whoa! Knew I, had to have knew I should have had me shield up. Oh, Taich is really losing health quick. Thought I rolled. Yeah! Ah, come on! God, what is with Taich not being anywhere near aggressive enough? Where's that bird of mine? There you are. Oh, hold up. Let's go, my pretty. Oh, 
My burn may not do much, but it can still act as a good, a decent diversion, maybe, and also give me a decent, a good buff at the beginning. Well, now wait, back up. Ah. Come on, I was just about to attack. What a torpedo bird. <laughs> No! Well, I still have the attack buff at the very least. Ah, help. I knew that was coming. Heal before the burn. Ow! Okay. The sword being able to go through these kind of negates the benefits that they're supposed to be giving me. Okay, clearly the summons just aren't going to work, so... Time to look for some helpers. Gee, and there were so many people here last time. You can't be serious. There's really nobody around to help? So many people last time, but apparently they just decided to screw off or whatever. Anybody else then? Let's see. Gonna put some decent work into work into Oleg Engval. Amon would probably be decent. You know what? Maybe give them a try just because there's two of them. Oh, right. Okay, then.
calling a finger calling recipe was still on so there was no way I was going to be able to summon and it's not like I had any runes to collect anyway I didn't even hit it and somehow that get, uh, got me aggro. That was a flat 500 for that, uh, for that incantation. So nervous about him getting so close to the edge like that. Oh, they're both still here. Whoa, what the? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not exactly all that fair. If he catches me with the last one, then I'm per completely staggered and unable to dodge the, dodge the other one, which completely obliterates. What the hell? Can we please get out of this spot? Thank you, finally noticing. Big guy, me. Give him a little frost, maybe.
Oh, he's inside again. Nope, not far enough. Yep, come on. Yeah, the burn's really the uh, worst part about uh, about him. I got him. Yes. Honestly, if it weren't for that, like, one attack he does after all the spinning and sword beams, he would be a lot more tolerable and easier to handle. Like, when I was up close to him, it was so easy to just dodge through his swings, because they were so telegraphed. It's like fighting Sif. But then the moment he started swinging out the swing beams, it's like one wrong move and bam, you're immediately dead. Nothing you can do about it. Well, at any rate, that's the Rune of Destined Death, which has been released back into the world. The Rune of Death is unbound. So, in other words, it's now possible for gods to die. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn Thorns. Oh, jeez, wow. Farewell, it is then. Huh. You'll be Elden Lord yet. I didn't think it could burn any more than it already was. Hmm. Yeah, I set a real disco inferno on that Erd tree. Like, I'm already burning it with the giants, and now I'm burning it with destined death. <laughs> now where am I? Oh, Gallagher had a rough night last night. Wait, is this just another part of Lane Dell? Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh. I. I think I've reset Lane Dell. Well, I'm glad I thoroughly explored it the first time around, I suppose. Uh, 
Odds are I'm willing to bet if I tried to re-enter it from the, the original way, I probably wouldn't be able to. Behold, the Erd Tree yet stands, tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flame of ruin. <laughs> then we are yet golden ones. Whoa. I wouldn't say standing tall. I'm pretty sure I just, I've caused it to tilt a little. Boy, that tree's going to make some nice golden kindling. <laughs> Yeah, this is about where I came, or where I used to be able to come in. Oh, that's right. I still never figured out about this door. Damn it! All right, I didn't. I still didn't explore it fully then. Oh, hey, Bach. Got to reset this grace. You doing all right there? Bach, this seems ready to make adjust. He's good. Going on, please. Well, boy, I've made quite a change indeed. So many enemies that used to be here, all gone now. Just piles and piles of ash. I uh, can't call. It's about as big a shock as uh, Dark Souls 3 is a third uh, DLC reveal. When we go in time, go forward in time, and the world is just about dead. Just as ashen as this. Oh, wait, shoot! I need to get back to the, um... To that spot. Toward the Elden Throne. Ah, hello, Gideon. To stand before the Elden Ring, to become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Excuse you? Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle. Unto eternity. She wants us to fight forever? Well, that's not happening then. You may be all knowing, but I am all conquering. Oh, don't have enough. Don't know what this debuff is, but I don't like it. Oh, you're even using the Blasphemous Black Flames? Oh great. Get some You thought well until 
Oh my god, he's using all the tricks of the of the lords I've beaten. In all seriousness, what is this debuff? How are you a- You thought well until now. How is he able to do that rapidly? Shoot, I didn't even notice if I had gotten any runes from Malaketh. And now, if I did, they're all gone! Thanks a lot, Gideon. You complete git. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of retaliatory protection he casts on himself. Watch me. A man cannot kill a god. Scepter of the All Knowing. Where is it? I oh, heard it. Now that's the bone. Ah, oh, here it is. It's a hammer. Scepter in the form of a hand grasping a pearl. Signature weapon of Sir Gideon Ofnir, the all-knowing. The pearl stands for the world, the heavens, and an eye, representing the many forms of knowledge, never fully attainable. Even knowing that, the all-knowing's hand grasps for it. Raise the scepter to manifest the realm of the all-knowing. Enemy magic and holy damage negation will be reduced for all within the area, including the caster. Oh, that's what that was. It was a magic debuff. Set, a set of countless eyes and ears. Oh yeah, right. It looks like a beard, but it's ears. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. Knowledge begins with the recognition of one's ignorance, the realization that the search for knowledge is unending. But when Gideon glimpsed into the will of Queen Marika, he shuddered in fear. At the end, that should not be. Yep, a lot of eyes and a lot of ears.
Well, at least the grounds around here seem to be fine. Oh, wait a minute. I think Golden Mask has moved on. I'll speak to that ghost in a minute. Nope, whatever that doesn't look whatever that is, it still looks like I can't get to it. What do you have to say? He has returned. The Lord has returned at long last. Our very first Lord to brandish the Elden Ring once more. Don't count on it. So which way was it back towards that, uh, the Elden Throne spot? Uh, does this pathway have any worth anymore? Or did it ever in the first place? Nope. Yeah, that's water. Ah, right this way. No, not this way then. Well, sheesh, now that I've totally done this, I got no idea how to get there now. Rooftops, I guess? Seems like a real far way down, though. Yeah, there's... Um, there's no way that reaches up that far. I didn't completely ruin the order, did I? Was I really supposed to go right back to the thorns after it started burning? Alright, 15,000 from Gideon. Uh, 
Oh wait, right, it was just this way, wasn't it? Ugh. Oh, hey, there's something. Erd tree heal. Heals a vast amount of HP for the caster nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Erd tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. Really? The Erd tree uh, just flourished for about a second or so? I think I know what happens here. Let's see, replace you. F nope. Replace you for a moment with. Where is that dang thing? Here we are. Margit's Shackle. Nephili! One last time, old friend. Speaking of... Yeah, she's still there. Oh wait, it's not who I thought it was. Oh, they were right. The First Lord did come back. It's been a long while, Morgoth. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior. Is that a compliment, sir? Spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Wood smoke smell. Alas, I am returned. Now that's an axe that has seen a lot of battle. To be granted audience once more. Whoa! Upon my name as Godfrey. The first Elden Lord. Hi, pipe, 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 pipe. There's Nephili. A lot less damage than I thought I would be getting doing. Yeah, Nephili's doing more damage than I am. I did like 300 or something, and she's got like 500 a swing or so. I might have just gotten a bleed off on him, though. 
Ah, that's what I was hoping to do damage. Oh! Oh, no. Oh! Get spinning, girl! Oh, my nose itches. There we go. Oh, that's... That's big, and he's buffed! Ah, come on. How are we supposed to defend against that? She did it. That will be all. Thou didst me good service, Sirach. Oh. He's killed the beast that de uh, that devoured his desire for battle. No longer is he a thinking man. I've given thee courtesy enough. He's not but a battle hungry berserker now. Now I fight his horror. Oh, that's why Nephili... Ah, uh, that's why Nephili is summonable for this. Because that's what she is, Nephili Lu. Oh no, she got slammed! Oh, wow! And then, I guess, face torn off. Whoa! Me grappling lord? Uh-oh. Hey, I did it. Nope. Yep. Hup. Oh. Could not get out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to the slam indeed. Yo. Drink quick. Nope. God, why is the Wondrous Physics Flask such a slow drink? Oh, that's glorious! While I still have the time. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> oh, whoops, he stomped on my head. Ow. Oh! Ah, oh, come on. At least let my summons get to you. Thank you.
Really shows what a man this man was. One of them dead. Whoop. Dang it. You stop that. Am I? How am I supposed to get out of attack like an attack like that? Because it's like, it looks like the line in the ground is danger, but then the rocks on either side of the ground are also danger. And I don't have enough time to roll slash run out of the range of the, of the rocks and the line. Definitely have yourself a drink, come on. Ooh, critical. Ah, oh, eat the sword. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. This man is a wrestler and a grappler. Where is he doing? Okay. I'm gonna take from my physic now. Oh, he just manhandled her. I need a drink. I need a drink so bad. Oh no. I rolled into that to get away. How does that automatically count? Very close though, very close.
Need to take a stand, though. <clears throat> Ugh, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I'll give it a try. Although I expect to do worse with it. You know, it's a bit warm around here, my lord. Would you like to feel a little... Would you like to be chilled a bit? And again, the magic slice misses every single frickin' time. Why do I even bother trying to use it? Scrape the side of my jar. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take this. Yummy, isn't it? <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Yeah, I was pretty sure we were already past the point. Oh, hell. Uh-oh. That's a high jump. Chill out, would ya? Uh, is she dead? No, she's not. Yeah! Nope! There we go! I did it! Not that time. Come on! Oh, could have sworn it. Come on! Come on! One more! Got him! Yes! Garnished. Thy strength befits a crown. I thank you, my lord. What a fight, what a fight! Still... I don't feel right, mostly that I just simply haven't gotten to the Haling Tree yet, and that's mostly what this stream game's title was supposed to be about.
means I'm just gonna buy, I'm just gonna look it up. And head back to the snow in the meantime. Now where was that pointing? I wonder. Oh, it might have been pointing back towards... Well, stop that. <sighs> Had a hair on my lens. Alright, Michaela's Halig Tree. Access by completing the Evergale Candle Puzzle located in the Ordina Liturgical Town to be able to go through the way gate that leads to the Hallig Tree. Okay, and I know that the Liturgical Town is right here. I'm going to tap it just to make sure. Yep, that's it. All right, then. From the Inner Snowfield. And there the wolves go again. Though they're not chasing the uh, thing in the snow anymore, because it's that because that's dead. Did I just hear more wolves? Wolf riders! What in the world? No ice magic. Ow, 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 ow. Chili. Didn't expect to see anything like wolf riders around here. What? Oh, there's the town. Boy, you really like your bows, don't you? Are you serious? Come on, really? even know how far away that a bow uh, that wolf rider came from Yeah, finally got an eyelash out that's probably been bothering me for a while. Looks like giant logging has been going on around here. Oh, that's two of them. And apparently I can't even handle one, mostly because they just stay out of frickin' range and it's just impossible to get close to. Oh, screw you. Aha! Golden Seed. Excuse you. Thank you.
Where did you come from? Are you ridiculous? Ghost wolves? Ah, Grace. So there's an ever jail here, and it's a puzzle as well. You speak? No, but I don't hit. Oh, shut up. Hmm. Reminds me a bit of Celia. Held shut by a seal, of course. Oh, that looks like the Ever Jail. Light the four figures in the Ever Jail. Hey, that's not fair. You bastard. Oh, why are you allowed to be invisible the whole time? Cheating prick. Oh, I see. There's one, one thing up there. Yeah, a little rooftop hopping. Right. Can't call the horse in the Ever Jail. Would you quit cheating?
Oh my god, this guy sucks! That had better be a permadeath, and one I never have to encounter ever again. Stab fishing, motherfucker! Is there any way to beat these guys and any way to see them? Nope, it's just telling me how to solve them. It's not what I want. Okay, let's see. In first, need to purchase the Sentry Torch from the Hermit Merchant located in the Hermit Shack, north of Lane Dell. Pretty sure I actually already have that. Sentry's Torch, yes, it is. Torch given to protectors of the Erd Tree. Its flames are bestowed with a special incantation which allows the bearer to see assassins cloaked in veils. Okay. Yeah, I don't care if I don't have the faith for it. Surely that'll uh, just having it in my hand will be enough. And I just took the long way around, but I didn't need to. Wonderful.
Okay, so they are so they do perma die. Okay, that's good to know. Ah, hell, it's heavy. There. Actually, let me see something. No, I'm willing to bet that's not going to work. things input read. And they're sometimes just able to cancel out of things just because they want to. I'm pretty sure an attack of mine just completely whiffed for whatever reason there. Uh, this sucks. Oh, wait. Hmm. All righty then. Now the playing field is way more even. Take a look around the outskirts first. Nah. I did take a look at the, the actual guide for it, even though it wasn't what I wanted. Yeah, it seemed to say something about jumping off here right immediately, but can't reach anywhere. Not any roofs at any rate. Yeah, no.
Don't exactly see any great ways to get up top. Celia at least had the roots and plants and stuff growing through it. Here I thought I'd have to use Torrent to get that. And then yes, this marks the barrier. Eh, something like that. Nope, just doesn't seem possible without Torrent. Alright, how do I do it then? Ah, oh, cheapest cripes asking for these cookies. Okay. You know what? Fine then. Let's see. Summary and setup. Walkthrough. Okay, candle number one. Starting at the Everjail, run back like you're going to where the side of Grace was, except after coming to the first set of stairs, turn left and the statue will be there. Oh, those statues? Oh, okay. Located at the far west edge of the town, there's a ladder up to it blending in with the stones. Ah, yes, lit by this glowing torch. Okay. I, uh, yep. Thought so. Two? Yeah, no need to slide down it.
What is with this? Who are you? Good. Oh no. Why are there more of you? And why are you even doing this in the first place? Ah. you'd want to shoot the black knives more than you would want to shoot me. Made it. Great, two of them. Wait, she bled white. These are Albanorex. Well, at any rate. That's three. There she is. Death from above! Oh, what the? Come on. Yeah, she's on her knees. But she's and the, the Albanarix, or at least the first stage ones, are usually like on their knees because their legs failed from their bad blood. Clearly, I've gone off course and need to correct myself. Three. Let's see, candle three. First torch visible when you enter the A of Evergel. See it directly in front of you at, at, atop a roof. Ah, that one, okay. Crap, I think I'm gonna have to start over.
They're really taking their newfound sense of freeform platforming to the max. Oh, hello. Slumbering egg. From the starting point, jump over the balcony to the south. Can Two ladders leading to it. Oh. Hold on a moment. Oh, right. Yeah. Very clever of them hiding th things this easily. Well, you can say drama next time, Gray. Don't have to say llamas, though. Yeah, seems like something kids would do. Alright, flame is lit. A seal was broken. Let me get the hell out of here. Ugh. <sighs> What is with this place? I'm leaving for the tree. There we are, Michaela's Halig tree. Yeah, this is not a very healthy looking tree. Oh, we got some duders. Shut your horn up. Oh, Glod. Oh, dear Glod. This place is going to trigger me so bad. Whew. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, whoop. Sacramental Bud. Oh yeah, this is really f freaking me out pretty well. Like a tree fort, but way more rickety. Oh, there's a big duder. Employing stealth. What are these beings? And we've got more ants. Oh, great. That's how you know this place is infested.
Dumm. If only this place had a decent gardener. Oh, I completely forgot to put my golden seeds to use. Nuts. Oh my god, why are there so many ants? That's what they meant by uh, train range battle. Wow, these hurt. Why do they hurt? Ah, oh, they're shooting at me from everywhere. I need to leave. I need to leave. I need to leave. <laughs> Here's an idea. Could you try not dooting at me for a bit, please? It's so hard to figure out the way down from here. Or at least I should say a safe way down. Oh, that's a very big duder up there. He just rolls and attacks. Oh, never mind. Strip of white flesh. I worry about that. Envoy crown. Huh. A little closer away. Now then. The soft bundle worn by the head of Oracle envoys, densely wrapped in several layers of cloth, raises the potency of bubble-based skills. No one knows what the cloth hides, but some claim to have heard a faint whimpering from inside. It must have been their imagination. Nuclear arms in the Middle East. Nah, I can't sing the rest of that song. Warren Zevon is just too much for Twitch, I'm sure. Send the envoy. Get stun locked. Whoa, that was close. So many things don't eat. God, I almost want to just get down to whatever the next site of grace is at the end of this tree. My usual instinct to explore is just being stifled so much. What are you looking at? Oh, and there are Triffids too? Jeebus. This place has got everything horrible.
Yeah, I'm feeling like ignoring my instincts and just going. What is with these rot spots? Ouch. Your bubble artillery won't get me. I am very close. Ooh. What the? Oh, lower. That's just take an unnecessary risk. I did. Okay. There we go. Finally got myself a better foothill than the Hallig tree. And to think, people actually wanted to live here. They're insane, I tell you. Insane! It's probably weather blue. I, uh... I'm gonna spend these before I probably drop and die and then drop and die again. So, uh... Time to visit the Turtle Pope. I dropped off some of those for, uh, prayer books I found in Pharaoh Missoula. Only give me like four spells total, but better than nothing. Also, I wonder what he thinks of the new of the now burning Erd tree. Greetings. I guess he doesn't care. Here we go. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spear. Lightning Strike. Giant's Flame take thee, and flame fall upon thee. Thank you. I can't believe I still have some runes that I need to restore. Nah, Turtle Pope is fine. He is far above us mortals. Whoa! Cool it. Ha! <laughs> I say with the sword that causes frost. No! The Turtle Pope is fine. He's beautiful as he is. Uh oh, we got some mushroom zombies. Huh. The misbegotten are praying here too. But they're not exactly looking in the direction of the Erd Tree. Dot is curious. Somebody throwing something. Oh, you give the Scarlet Rot too? I hate these zombies. See if I can't knock a few off. I can't. Oh, I get it. The little burst thing is the, uh, me causing frostbite on their bodies. You are standing on nothing. Yep, that's just frostbite wearing off. I thought there was some tendrils in the uh, ceiling, but no. Feel that chill going up your spine.
Ah, oh, too or too soon. Smithing stone eight. Aha! I knew it. He felt the chill before his body went cold. Hefty beast bone. Oh, crap! Okay, not that bad. Look out! Come on, this guy's a former boss! Let me summon! It's against it's against enemies like that where I feel like the moon's the moonlight greatsword is uh, starting to fail. Off you go. Let's see if I can't chill those mushrooms of yours a bit. You make it so easy. And then I make it so easy as well. Thing or two over here. Aha! Hmm, a drop off to ants. No, thank you. And I hear some wheezing. Yeah! Did it. I can't believe this kind of cheese is working. 
I feel like it shouldn't. Oh, there it goes. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh, God. No, 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 no. Up, 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 up. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I hate these plants! Great sword's kind of proven that, yeah, it just really isn't worth it to use big, bulky weapons like that, ever. Okay, fine. Don't let me get the repost. Or let me get the backstab. Real smart move there. Would have done more if he wasn't paying attention. And fish. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm, mm. Uh-huh, yeah, seems like, um, I can't go this through this place alone. I turn, it turns out I'm gonna need a guide. Because apparently, no matter what I do, I'm just never going to be good enough for this place. Never, never, never. So I'm, and I can't summon, so I'm just gonna have to see if anybody's around for help. Any kindly tour guides around to help with this nonsense? Because it's really brutally stupid. Just how much damage is done at the end of the game, even with top tier armor. Like, I've got the recommended 40 vigor. I've even improved it with the Erd Tree Talisman plus, two, plus one. Which is better than the uh, regular. So why am I still taking so, 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 so much damage? Kinda says to me like there's an inherent flaw here. That the numbers on the enemies are just way too high. They should be more in tune to my numbers.
Well, something just croaked. Yeah, I know. These aren't for everyone. These are 100% not games for everyone, and I... I understand that. A lot, a lot of other players understand that. But even then, four players... Uh, the, even though this game is four players like us, something still seems to be inherently wrong. You know what? He's gone for now. He can't climb. Good enough for me. Ooh, that's a good one. You dicks. Hey, come on, man. You got wings. Why don't you fly? Oh, Grace. Finding Spot of Grace is always a reason to celebrate. Oh, I know what you are. Spirit Collar Snail. Hundred percent not letting that snail get away with that. Oh, another, eh? Alright, it's a snake snail. There's gotta be a better way to combine those two into one word. Uh oh. that and let me keep looking where would it be aha I don't think I can reach it from here yep maybe the cannon of Haima since it's an arc yeah I'm going to blame the Crystallion for that one. Not you. Ha-ha! Managed to even blow it off. Did not know the Crystallians made noises either. Like, hearing it go like boom, 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 boom. Like it was trying to sing or something. Zombies don't touch me. All right, fine then. I was prepared to leave you alone. No! 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 
Oh, hell, that's towards the ants. And I... I thought I saw an ant queen there. I don't like having to do this in a, a spot like this, but hopefully... Hopefully nothing will happen. I gotta go for a moment. In all honesty, I did kind of think something would come up and kill me uh, while I was uh, still doing my thing. So, um, there are ants that way. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's trying to give hints on where the uh, they would be. Let's see. Can I go up? Yes, I can. I thought so. Okay. Back across the rooftops. I went into wherever these places are. And it, but uh, the only way I saw in was... Oh, there's... Okay. Now I see there's a possibility. Yep! Ooh. Way too close. Way too close. Ladder! Up. Let's see. Nope. Crap. I hear some kind of whirring noise. Like. Oh, right, like a beetle. Seriously? Oh, come on. Oh, it's just a health beetle. And I just heard something die. Oh, crap. Come on. There we go. Huh. <sighs> All right then. 
I want inside, but apparently not from that down there. Ah, here we are. Entryway, just what I was looking for. Seems like there's a lot of death around here. I really thought I hit something else, honestly. I'm not sure if that was in supplication or in fear. Looks like I can dare. Oh, it's a one another one another one of those fighting ma uh, mag magi, and oh, hey, shortcut. Oh wait, ah, oh, crap. There's two of them. This is not good. I can cheese just as well as they can. Nope. Just one hit really throws it all. Can't get close to them because of that hammer. <sighs> One down. And something else just died. Did you just slap me with the top of your hat? Say, does that look like a boss arena to you? Oh, yep, totally is. Anyway, I better get this uh, shortcut working.
Excellent. Hero's Rune. It's places like this that make me wonder how they're built. Anyway, I still got that room to I want to clear out. Alright, come and get me then, Mr. Ambush. How did that not count as a backstab? There we go. Have myself a drink. And now to kill the bug. Uh, barely a refill. So I want to go in there. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's possible. I won't bonk my head. There we go. If only these doors were functional. Do a little preliminary damage specifically for that. these eggs. Are they eggs? Are they the envoys? Are they spiders? Viridian Amber Medallion plus two. Yep, just a really big boost on the stamina. Why are these equipped? Very terrifying. Yeah. I think it's time to mess with them. With little, little mess with them. Ants, me good, me kill.
like killing fire ants. They're so much bigger. Could restore, but if I do restore, that means that the Leonide guy comes back here. I don't really want to do that. Don't. No, move it, move it, move it. I despise how they're able to do that. Ooh, that's a nasty wound that tree's got. There's like a whole party of these guys. Ha! <laughs> it was! Too close. Somehow bouncing off a mushroom. Hup. What was that? I thought I heard something. Beasties. Alright, so what's up here? Oh, not another one. Why are there so many of them? You know what? I can't even get up to there. Now, before I forget, time to work on those flasks. They are? But I've got six spares. Huh. Well, that's really weird. Well, I think that's enough I can tolerate of heights in the Hallig tree for now. Um, I want to do a little more snow searching. Oh, crap, those wolves. Ah. Wait a minute, isn't that one of the fire monks? No, it's one of those prisoners. It's quite an evil looking axe he's got there. I want to kill him for it.
<laughs> Spinning your little balls around. Oh wait, that's that's giving you Scarlet Rod. Rotten Duelist Greaves and Great Axe. Speaking of, where is that new flowing sword I got? There it is. Legends speak of a master of the sword garbed in blue and his curved blade that, uh, that was patterned after flowing water. Strong attack unleashes a series of strikes akin to a dance, offering a glimpse into the legend. Funky looking thing. And went back to this and. Here we go. Great axe designed for gladiatorial combat, now festering with scarlet rot, used by duelists who were exiled from the Colosseum. Hmm, that's it. See Briar. Nope, that's Blide. Ah, there, there. The wearer becomes a slightly easier target for foes. Greaves wrapped with bronze snakes eaten through by Scarlet Rod. There's a big old walking mausoleum. I don't trust the height from here. I should go down lower. Yep, as I thought. Yo, hold up. What's up with this guy? Wait, he's headless, and what was that? Oh dear God! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to clear up this guy uh, immediately. Because they turned this mausoleum into a friggin' fortress. The skull barnacles. Oh! Horse down! Horse down! Nope, haven't done it yet. was directly on top. Okay, that's it. It's calmed down, it's lowering, and it's no longer firing. <coughs> Phew. The Apostate Derelict. This is one big person. 
and they're sleeping. Silver mirror shield. Oh, don't tell me. Something pervy here? Yeah, I thought so. They may be sleeping, but they're still breathing and alive. A shield of radiant silver, festooned with amber, and carried by Loretta, Knight of the Halig Tree. Uh, Halig Tree. The shape is said to imitate that of a sacred drop of dew, which inspired the absurd rumor that Loretta herself was an Albanaric. You know, if that can be made better than my bronze shield, I'd gladly use it. Uh, something tells me it won't be, though. Alright, I've looked I sort of looked at the map earlier and noticed that there's another like catacomb dungeon area around here that I want to at least get revealed first. Got a lot more headless uh soldiers around. I thought they were supposed to go away the moment the uh, mausoleum was calmed. Yeah, I thought as much. Huh. What exactly am I supposed to draw over here to break it open? Ah, stupid ram. Ram thought to challenge me. Yeah, basically saying that's pretty garbage. I mean, a one, a level one rune in this area. Why? Oh, it's just the sh it's just the sheep again. I wonder what these, I assume, trees used to be. Huh. Thought I heard a big noise behind me. Or just some sort of crash. Wait. Oh, don't tell me they want me to lure the bear over there. That's incredibly far. Oh boy, rotten dog. More rotten dogs. Am I being ambushed again? Um, please bear no. Sanguine Noble. Oh, okay. One of them. I can deal with them. The bear, though? I'd rather not. Oh, the Sanguine Noble is an actual, like, NPC this time.
Roll Katya. Sanguine Noble Hood and Gear. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Hood of dyed black cloth featuring gold embroidery, worn by the nobles who serve the Lord of Blood. Known to strike from pools of blood, these assassins are missionaries come to share the gospel of accursed blood. And it doesn't seem like they do it to a lot of willing participants. Let's see, the grand metallic pattern on the shoulder is a signifier of the noble rank they intend to claim upon the advent of the new dynasty they are working to install. Yep, nothing new. At least the bear doesn't care anymore. Don't tell me there are worm faces even here. Wait, no. Those are trolls. See if I can find another way in. It's not like it's got the sturdiest walls. I hear rats, I think. Yellow and X ruins. And a yellow ember. Oh dear, I'm dealing with frenzy here. Not letting you get your crazy eye nonsense on me. <clears throat> oh, whoa. Was that just part of his regular patrol pattern, or was that because he found me? That guy had ups. Giant and rats. Oh! Yeah, I know better than to fight you. Your frenzy nonsense can be devastating. Eyelash again. Hmm. Now these are ruins, so they're supposed to be... Oh, there's a big guy up there watching. So where's the uh, path downward? Into a like minor boss slash treasure room. Oh, well, not exactly what I'm looking for, but looks like something good anyway. Uh-oh. Well, it's something.
No grab. Rimmed Roa. Aha! But how to get in? Yep, that's it. There's no window big enough for me. Oh, wait. Maybe? Uh-uh. Excuse me a moment. Thank you. Clever solutions. Here. Incantation ahead. Unend unendurable frenzy. Right? Not really all that much more I need from this place anymore, then. Squeak, squeak. What is with these electrical balls? Ah, nuts. You got a woman bat singing. Ouch. Oh, wait, no, not woman bat. Huh. You know what? Makes sense that they'd be here. Ancestral followers, I think is what they were called. Well, I suppose it makes sense they'd be, they'd be able to tolerate this climate, but... Still not entirely sure why they'd be here. No, come on, wasn't there? Yes, just what I wanted. Yellow Annex Tunnel. It's like an ice cave. Uh, real quick look at who is it, what it is I'm facing exactly. First. It seems like everybody's dead. Okay, they're stony. Which means it's time to bring out the flail. Where did it go? Well, I can't really get back anymore, so... I heard electricity. Huh? Oh. Well, complete whiff. 
and complete step off. No matter how hard your skin may be, you will still be weak to my magic. I wish I knew what was doing all that sparking noises. Explosive clump. Ah, well. Ooh, somber stones. Aha! It's about a fourth of my health with each hit. I don't agree with those numbers. Not at all. What in the world am I looking at? Oh. You lads. The Onyx Lords, I think. That does a bit better than the flail, I'm pretty sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, that was a shove. Oh, thank goodness you stopped. I was about to say that was almost cheating on his part, but it turned into cheating on my part. Yeesh. Eight and nine. Excellent stuff. High quality. Very high quality. This is very big. Nope, don't feel ready. Don't feel ready at all. Take that. Yeah, hold on. I thought there was an extra option there. Nope, never mind. Oh, hell. 
Not you again! Oh, God. Dodge the grab. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Move! Nope. Wanted to go backwards. Okay, good. I thought he was going to go for the... And... Yeah! You gotta go for the, uh... What was it? Instant kill grab. That's it. Just didn't go anywhere at all. Why did I drink? And that's my summon dead. How good a bleed. At least it's a lot smaller of a space. I'm trying to transition into a jump. Nope, wrong button. Why do they have to put this bastard in twice? Wasn't once bad enough already? Well, oh, whatever. That'll be it for tonight. I can't believe how much of a pain Elden Ring was to start up. But at least it actually got going. Anyway, more Gundam this week for tomorrow and Thursday. And next week will be Final Fantasy week. At least as much as of it, uh, as much of it as I can do. Well, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Peace be with you. And may the forces of evil be confused on the way to your home. Bye.